Hello warm welcome to Ur Cocktails channel. Today I am very happy that I have the chance to share for all of you about basic life support for infant. Please follow me to see the step of basic care for infant who cardiac arrest. Infants more often have a breathing problem than an actual heart problem. Prevention of choking in infants is crucial. It is important to begin CPR immediately and perform 2 minutes of CPR before going to get additional help. If someone else is available, send them to call 911 EMS and to find an AED. One set of CPR consists of 15 compressions and 2 breaths. When the second rescuer returns, have them follow the AED prompts, apply AED pads and help with CPR. If the infant is unresponsive and not breathing or only gasping for air, provide CPR. When giving CPR to an infant victim, do the following. 1. Make sure the scene and area around the infant are safe. 2. Tap and shout to determine if the infant is unresponsive. 3. Yell for help. If a second person is available have them call 911 EMS and get an AED. 4. Check breathing. 5. If not responding and not breathing or only gasping, then give 2 minutes of 15 compressions and 2 breaths. 6. Call 911 EMS if a second person has not already done so. 7. Resume CPR and give compressions and breaths. As a rescuer, if you are untrained in CPR, then give the hands only CPR. Hands only CPR is giving continuous compressions but no breaths. Infant CPR 0 to 12 months. CPR for children and infants is almost identical. An infant that does nothing when you tap or talk loudly is considered unresponsive and CPR needs to be given. Compressions. Push hard and fast as you would in a child or adult receiving CPR. Position the infant on a firm, hard surface to make giving CPR easier. To give an infant CPR, do the following. 1. Position the infant on their back on a firm, hard surface. 2. Move any bulky clothing away from the chest. 3. Place two fingers of one hand on the breastbone right below the nipple line. 4. Push straight down approximately 1.5 inches, 4 centimeters, at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. 5. Let the chest recoil to its normal position after every compression. Performing compressions correctly is essential to effective CPR and can be physically tiring. If someone else can help, switch off every two minutes while minimizing interruptions during compressions. Giving breaths. Giving breaths during CPR can help infants. Like children, many cases of cardiac arrest in infants are primarily due to respiratory problems. Giving breaths and administering chest compressions are important for infants receiving CPR. A good breath will cause the chest to rise. To open the infant's airway, do the following. 1. Put one hand on the forehead. 2. Place your fingers on the bony part of the chin. 3. Gently tilt the head back while lifting the chin. Be careful not to tilt the head too far back as this can block the airway. Be sure to press on the bony part of the chin and not the soft part under the chin as pressing the soft part may also block the airway. Once you've opened the infant's airway, you are ready to give breaths. Next, do the following. 1. Hold the airway open as described above by gently pressing forehead back and lifting chin with your fingers. 2. Take a deep breath and seal your mouth around the infant's mouth and nose. 3. Blow for one second and watch the chest rise. Very little volume or force is required to inflate an infant's lungs. Blowing too much or too hard will damage the infant's lungs. Only a gentle exhale for a tiny puff of air is required for an infant. 4. Repeat for a second breath. If unable to cover both mouth and nose entirely with your mouth, use the following method for rescue breathing. 1. Open the airway using the head tilt, chin lift maneuver. 2. Pinch the infant's nose closed. Create a seal using your lips to surround the infant's mouth. If the chest does not rise after the first breath, let the head go back to normal position and then reopen the airway by tilting the head and lifting the chin. Try to get a breath in while watching for chest rise. Do not interrupt compressions for any more than 10 seconds when giving breaths. Mask use. Giving breaths. In CPR is generally safe for the rescuer. 
However, if a mask is available, it should be used. The mask fits over the infant's mouth and nose. Many masks have a pointed or tapered end which should go over the bridge of the infant's nose. Make sure the mask fits properly. If it is too large, a proper seal cannot be obtained and efforts to deliver breaths will be ineffective. When using a mask to give breaths, do the following. 1. Place the mask over the infant's mouth and nose. 2. Open the airway by performing the head tilt chin lift maneuver. 3. Ensure a good seal between the mask and the face. 4. Give a breath over one second and watch the chest rise. Thank you for watching Ur Cocktails YouTube channel. Please click subscribe for new video.